Hey everyone. Welcome, welcome. It is Thursday. Oh, oops. This popped right up. Oh my God. Okay. So, uh, that was super quick and awesome. Um, so when you get here, whether you're watching live on Facebook or if you are watching on YouTube later, um, just give me a comment. Let me know you're here. Say hi. Thumbs and hearts are good. Um, just let me know somebody's here and, uh, I'm going to get started here. So I am Tony Tesler, Tony Stamps, and I'm a Stampin' Up! demonstrator. Um, so if you need anything, reach out, let me know. Um, I'm going to start with a, a couple of specials and things that are going on, and then I'm going to dive into it. Today I'm going to be doing floating paper strips. They're also called floating cardstock, floating um, something else, but the idea is just floating we're going to make cool stuff out of just little strips of paper. Um, but a couple of things to go over stampin bingo. Um, if you want to play bingo, it's going to be August 1st at one o'clock. We're doing it on zoom. I need to know by tomorrow. And, um, frankly, I only have three people so far and I need 10. So I need seven more people. Otherwise I just can't have it because it's a lot of work. And, um, the prizes, uh, we did it with seven last time and I just felt like the prizes could have been better, but it's all in how many people you have. So, um, I will keep you guys posted, but again, if you want to play, it's on zoom Sunday, August 1st. And, um, we do four make and takes and we play six games of regular bingo and then the grand prize final round bingo. So you're getting seven games of bingo. Um, so that's that bingo. Let me know. Um, designer series paper sale. This is going on now through August 2nd. There are nine different packs of paper. All of them are 12 by 12, except for the tidings of Christmas. That is six by six. Okay. So next paper share for the new catalog. So Gail and I, um, have come up with another paper share that we're each offering to all of our customers. You're going to get 106 sheets. These are all papers from the new july through december catalog that's coming out um, now this just shows the designer series papers there's eight different packs and it's only new ones so when you get your catalog you're going to see there's a lot of things that are marked returning favorites so that's not new they were in last year's holiday catalog so we're not including those in our share um, and we're only doing some of the specialty papers not pictured silver foil you guys this silver foil is very cool it's three different shades of gray, like dark, medium, light. Very cool. Um, cork. That's awesome. I think that's going to be, I don't know how stampable cork is going to be, but I'm looking at it to die cut things out of. Um, and then craft. I think this is going to be interesting to make things with. I don't know how it's going to stamp, but we're going to find out. Um, and if you notice, there's four definite Christmas holiday patterns. One, this is called, um, perfect something. It's grays, silvers, white, like a very winter generic pattern. I really like that. Um, there's some plaids. Love it. There's two fall patterns and then one Halloween. Um, so paper share $39. If you need it shipped eight more dollars, email me, let me know. Um, we need payment and signups by August 1st because the catalogs go live on the third and that's when we're going to place our orders. All right. And then ta-da, our latest stamping good times adventure. Um, so Gail and I are doing another like collaboration class. So we're going to be using the flowers of friendship stamp set. So, which is this one. And we're actually, we're using the bundle, the punch also. Um, but you can use any similar flower set that you may have. Okay. And, um, the pictures I've posted this in the stamping good times, and I think I've shared it to my group. Um, but these pictures give you a sneak peek at the cards. So class packet videos. Um, this is not going to be a live event. It's going to be, Oh, die. Got you for the paper share. Um, this class, we're going to try a pre-recorded video. Um, actually two. So Gail will do video for her cards. I'm going to do a video for my cards. The PDF tutorial is going to have links to those private videos. Okay. So we figure 
we want to try this out. Um, you can work at it at your own pace. You can back up, you can s skip through it. You know, I think it's going to be a lot better. Um, but we're trying it cause I want to try a bunch of different things to see what really works best for us. Um, so $30 for the packet, $8 shipping. If you don't want to pick it up, if you want to add the bundle, if you don't, you know, want to use whatever you have in stock already, we're just charging 35, which is the catalog price. So there's no extra tax or shipping on that for you. We're, we're eating that. Um, but we need RSVPs by July 19th, which is about a week and a half. And then, you know, we put the order in, we're planning to have everything ready, um, ship out packets and have the PDF ready. Um, uh, I should have put that down. I think it's a 29th. It's like a Thursday, the last Thursday of the month. I think it's 729. I'll double check. Um, but so I'm looking forward to that. And this is, I didn't say it eight cards. So you're going to make eight cards. There's four designs, one, two, three, four, two of each. Okay. And you're also getting a wink of Stella pen in your packet. So you get the cards, wink of Stella that you're going to use on your projects, all the doodads that are, that we're using. Um, it's good. Okay. Let's get to stamping. So a couple weeks ago I had posted these, um, floating cardstock strips, floating paper strips cards that I made with um, a group of friends. The idea with floating is we have a piece of acetate or window sheet, and then you just cut strips of paper, glue them on, and then this has popped up. Okay. So it's really cool. And I've done, I did two different ways. I cut out a shape. I did a heart. I'm going to do a circle this time. And then this one, I just went with a rectangle. So I'm going to do another version of both of these. Hi, Betty. I'm doing another version of both of these um, today. And what we're gonna need, um, which I did not get out my adhesive. So these foam adhesive strips are your friend for this kind of project. All right, so we're gonna use some of these. Um, they come, I think the packet was a lot longer and I trimmed them down. But I have trimmed them down over the you know years that I've had them. And I just use them, I just keep cup, cup, blah, 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 chopping them down to whatever size I need. All right, so um, I'm going to use the Blossoms and Bloom today only for the greetings. All right, let me set that there and I'll get my first one. Okay, so the first one I'm going to do is similar to the rectangle. All right, so I have cut out um, little flowers. This, this is what I'm gonna embellish with, flowers from the Quiet Meadows, the Meadows dies. I'm gonna set that over there. Um, and I'm gonna use this scrap to do my stamping from. All right, so I have a white card base, white, thick, five and a half by eight and a half. Fold it in half. Then my, um, a white layer, to go on top, but white, four by five and a quarter. Okay, we need that. You need a piece of window sheet or acetate, um, transparencies, whatever you have. I actually have a whole box of transparencies and actually let me bring this in. Um, and I got to look over at my, oops, at my screen to see if you guys can see this better. I just got glue on that. There's my little hoozy bob my glue remover. Um, ooh, this is yuck. All right. I just have to figure out if you guys can see what I'm doing on this transparency since it's see-through. All right. It looks like you can see the glare. All right. So transparency, I got a whole box of transparencies from a teacher. So you can use that. Um, if you have page protectors that are, you know, they don't, you don't want them to be too floppy, um, or just the window sheet. All right. So we need that. This is cut down three and three quarters by five. All right. Because I am going to layer this. It's going to be popped up on top of this layer. Now I can see this smudge is just not going away. Oh, you know what? Give me a minute. Um, let me, I've got alcohol strips here somewhere. Oh, here we go. That's going to work. So my husband found these, 
um, electronic wipes in the Walmart. Apparently Walmart has a clearance section. Did not know that. Um, but found these and they're little wipes, $1.50. These, they're just alcohol. It's 70% alcohol, so it's not really good for techniques or anything. Um, but what I found is they're good for cleaning things. So I will clean my blocks with them. Usually I'll just squirt out some of my alcohol and um, get it with a paper towel. Okay, that's taken it up, good. But these are handy for keeping around to just wipe things off. All right, and actually I'm gonna get this back side. All right. Now you do want a silicone mat um, just because this is a little bit messy. So we've got our window sheet. Now you need paper strips. Now you can use cardstock, you can use designer series paper that I'm gonna to use today. You can use um, glimmer paper, which we're gonna use next. You can use foil, any kind of paper really, you can use, all right? It's just a matter of um, cutting it big enough that you can work with it. So I cut three strips, three different size strips. I cut 3 8 inch. Um, a quarter, which is two eighths, and then one eighth inch. You could do half inch, you could do three quarter inch, depending on your project and what you're doing. Doesn't matter. You could just randomly whack stuff off, whack, you know, strips of paper off. Doesn't matter. All right. I just like them being somewhat the same. All right. So let me get this out of the way, get these in order. Um, so this paper is actually from last year's designer series paper, but I have part of a pack left and I thought I'm going to use it. All right. Good enough. I'm just trying to get these sorted. So they're like kind of in piles. Cause I do want to do like one color, then another color. I'm not going to mix them up. I'm not that brave just yet. All right. Uh, what else do we need? Tape. I mean, glue. If you feel comfortable using glue dots versus um, this glue, uh, you may want some, uh, like a fine tip glue pen, whatever you want. I'm comfortable enough using this. The thing to keep in mind, um, I do want this mat because this glue, it kind of goes everywhere. So I don't want it to stick to anything. I'm gonna put glue on the paper. And actually, let's just start. I'm gonna start with the blue one. It wiggles around a lot because this is, and I just want to put glue like kind of where it's going to go. With this being um, silicone, I mean the acetate, and I'm just butting this right up to the end, okay? It's going to wiggle a lot and move a lot because it takes a while to dry on the window sheet, all right? So I don't want to mess with it too much. I want to put it down and... Um, minimize the wiggling and then move on. All right. So I'm just gluing and you can see this one's a little bit smaller. Actually, I'm going to do the same and I'm going to leave just a little bit of a gap in between. Now, if you get glue like in between on your acetate, don't worry about it. Okay. Because it dries up. Sharon, you discovered the clearance section? Yeah, I never knew they had that. Something for $5. I also got some fabric there. They had one yard bits of fabric. I got some Star Wars fabric and um, something with like roosters. I'm not a big farm person, but I like it. I bought it because I had this bright idea that I'm gonna like make my own um, jun like junk journal or something and put a fabric cover on it. That's that's in the idea pile. The idea pile, sometimes things stay there for a couple years before they actually get made. But yeah, I didn't know they had a clearance section. All right, you can see I'm starting to get glue everywhere, but do not worry, it's gonna dry clear. I feel like I gotta move this a little bit. Okay. All right, so we did the misty moonlight. Now I think I'm gonna go with the green and oh i got the sweats where is something oh hold on for a minute Whew. 
Yes, Peggy, Walmart has some great finds. Totally agree. And I haven't been going nearly as much as I normally do. Um, sometimes I like to just go in there and wander around and they have some things that I didn't know I needed. But yeah, that fabric, oh, and the fabric was only like $2 for a whole yard. Crazy. You know, Star Wars fabric, all that like licensed stuff, that's usually really expensive. Like nine or $10 a yard at least. All right, so we're just stacking our strips. And um, I hope I have enough room because I want to get all five colors on here, but we'll find out. All right, green. Actually, I'm gonna leave this green one off extra and we'll go to yellow. So I also want to alternate the patterns. So now I'm going to do the words and I do want to make sure that they are right side up. Although that wouldn't be the end of the world. Right Di, you can't see it from an airplane, especially not with these words. I can barely read them as it is. All right. And one more with the bumblebee. So Betty, most of the time clearance items are in the departments. Oh, I didn't know that either. So I have to visit each department that I'm looking for something. Interesting. This was an aisle, like right before you go into the outdoor section. Um, well, at least ours is set up this way. There's like beauty department, then pet stuff. And um, then to the left, they'll have like holiday, like you know, grill stuff right now or Christmas stuff later, Halloween. Um, but it was just like a few rows down there, kind of hidden between like hardware, like the paint and house stuff. Tricky. But yeah, they had those alcohol wipes and um, I'm going to use them. Okay. I like it. All right. Now I'm going to go, you know what? I think I'd wanted to do brown first, but too late now. All right, brown next and then pink on top. Yeah. Oh, I'm going to use this pattern. So when you get these designer series paper um, packs that have like the ink colors, there's generally four different patterns and you get like multiples of each. Um, usually get like two or four pieces. I'd have to look and do the math. All right, come on glue. Yeah, I still do not have my complimentary catalog that um, I think they got mailed out to demos. I want to say a week and a half or so ago, everyone else is starting to get theirs and I, I don't have mine yet. And my pre-order that I put in um, arrives today, but of course not in time to show you guys um, I just got a hodgepodge of stuff I was really saving up for um, now we'll do dots so when I do the bingo prizes it's I get those from the pre-order and we can only order like one of each thing so I was holding off thinking I had to order bingo prizes um, you know I didn't want to get the fall leaf set if I needed it for a prize like I couldn't get two Ooh, this is really going to be a tight squeeze. I'll get it. Um, but so I got a Halloween set and um, totally messed up. I only wanted the dies, but I ended up with the bundle. I wasn't paying attention. So I was trying to get it in so quickly. So I guess who's going to be doing a exchange? Because I really do just want the dies. All right, now this... I'm hoping this is right at the tippy top. I want it right at the edge of my acetate. All right, that looks like it. So I've got to let that dry. Perfect, so I had just a few little extras. Um, this needs to dry, I'm liking it already. So you glue down your strips, then we're gonna go and chop up, clean up the edges, all right? And then we'll mount, um, we'll use our foam adhesive strips 
and mount them behind these larger ones so it'll cover up. So let me just show you. See, like this is going to fit behind here or here and here and here and here and here. So we just put these throughout to keep our to keep our project up. That gives it the floating part because it's floating on this um, acetate. All right, now I'm gonna set this off to the side and I wanna do, um, I gotta stamp my greeting. I had a scrap of paper. Where did I put that? Oh, right here. Okay, so I'm actually gonna do both the greetings um, for both cards. So I wanna do a, um, what do I need to send out? I need to send out birthdays and I like hellos. All right. So let's do, mm, I like thinking of you too. Ugh. Decisions, decisions. Actually, let's do, I like you a lot. That's random. And, and then we'll do the hello. All right. So I'm going to use the Oh, you know what? Nope, I was going to emboss something. Um, I like you a lot. I'm going to save that one. My next card I forgot is I'm going to use some gold. So I'm going to emboss that. So we'll put that off to the side. So this one I'm going to use my VersaFine Onyx. This takes a while to dry. Um, but I like it. It is a nice dark black ink. There we go. And I just realized that I forgot to wet my chamois. Um, so let me see. Is this nope, that's alcohol. Water, water, water. I have two spray bottles, and I know I've said it before. I need to label them. So instead, I just gotta sniff them. Yep. Okay, this is water. So this is the way I cheat when I forget to get my chamois wet. I just spray water in it, rub it in just to get like this little part wet. Good enough. And then clean, clean, clean. Done. Okay. So that is going to dry. So yeah, I love this strips because, you know, how many of us save little strips? And we always think, oh, we're gonna do something with that. And that may or may not really happen. Um, but I think this is a good way to clear out some of your um, piles that we're saving. And I think it's neat to see different um, pieces that you can put together. All right, now let's cut this. So I'm just gonna cut it by hand. Let me hold this. And hopefully that glue is dry enough for me to handle it. That's the longest part in this, the long pole in the tent is waiting for all the glue to dry. Um, because, you know, acetate and window sheets are not porous, so it's not like it's soaking into that. All right, let's put that over there. Get this out of here. All right. So hopefully, yeah, this is gonna be good enough to work with. Peel this off so it's only stuck down here. Uh, all right. So maybe can you see the shine so you can see the transparency through here? I love it. Now, let me get close. Um, I don't know if these glue bits are showing up. Like I did get a little messy here and there. Don't worry. It dries clear. All right, now I'm going to flip it over and I want to trim. So you could take this with your scissors and that's actually what I'm going to do on the next one because um, I've cut a shape out. But for this one, I'm going to drag my cutter back up just so I can get a perfect trim. All right. And so I'm just going to eyeball. I can see where I'm going with this. Where's my, well, I could. like right there and 
shop and like I said this was three and three quarters inch wide so I'm just gonna put it over three and three quarters there we go all right now I can tell there was some glue so I'm gonna take an alcohol swipe and clean that later I don't want to leave glue on my cutter forever all right now these bits I just have to scooch them out of my work area and toss them and you can see um, I must have caught a little bit of the the window sheet that's okay not the end of the world all right assembly so we've got our card base thick white card base then we've got our layer that is four by five and a quarter. So I like to attach this part to here first and then put the whole thing on my card front. I have better luck with it. So what I do, you flip it over and we'll just add these foam adhesive strips behind the, the ones that it fits. Oh, oops. All right, now when we get to the end here, Just chop that off and maybe put that somewhere else mm, right there all right so I'm gonna start so I did that end then I'm gonna do this end and I'm going right to the end oh okay so look these are must be cut three and three quarters I didn't realize that so I just have to pay attention and I can get it right across and not have to trim anything nice okay now you don't need a ton of this stuff um, but you don't want things flopping around either all right and then I'll put this here and actually I'm gonna peel this one up and put it just right in the middle all right I feel like that's enough I have one left let's just cut it in half let's just use it I'll do half right here and half. Um, let's just get rid of this. Nope, we'll put it right here. And that is barely covering it, but okay. Good, good, good. So now we're going to peel these up, peel the paper off. Now, once I get all this paper off, I am going to go back and put liquid glue over top of all of this foam. And the reason for that is, um, you know, some of this foam is much stickier than others, but by adding the liquid glue, it gives you wiggle room so you can move it around a little bit and get it where you want before it really grabs. Um, and I see this a lot um, when I'm using, uh, watching these videos on like junk journaling and how all these little bits and stuff that they make for the, for their books. It's a very cool rabbit hole that I have gone down. Um, I am enamored with all of it. And it just makes my to-do list even longer because there's so much stuff I want to try. All right, so liquid glue. And then I'm going to carefully pick this up and I do have to scooch this closer to my face so I can try to get it centered ish. Oh, actually, I feel like I nailed that the first time. All right. Hmm. I'm very happy with that. Okay. So now I'm just going to hold it because, you know, I want that liquid glue. I want to have that time to grab oh I love it so you can see from the side that's where you see our um, you know our foam adhesive um, but otherwise looking it looks like the cardstock like the paper strips are just floating that's you know hence the name I love it all right so we're gonna put this on here more glue At this point, it's hard to run 
um, a tape runner on the back of this anyway, but I feel like the glue holds better anyway. So glue, oops, all over, but we do have wiggle room. All right, that's a good spot. Just hold it for a minute. Okay, so that is our floating cardstock. That's the base. Um, so I cut these out of white. I think it was maybe three weeks ago, maybe four. I can't remember when I posted the, the samples. So my friend Kay had made one like this. So I'm kind of, um, I'm taking her idea. Hmm, I kind of like that. I cut two of these though, because I didn't know which ones I would like. Both of them, it seems to get lost, doesn't it? And I tend to like stuff on the left side and then I'll put the greeting over here. Mm. All right, so let's take a short vote. You want one? Oh, let me get this up here or two. Will be like an eye test. Is it better this way? Two or one? Two or one? So, everybody, give me your number. Which one do you think better, two or one? And I'm gonna root through, I know I have some, uh-huh. I know I have some in-color dots. These are from last year, but I'm gonna use those. Penny, you're partial to two. Oh wait, I got a bunch of ones, okay. One, 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 and one, two. So this was one, the ones have it. One, one, okay, everybody, one, one, and then two twos. All right, girls, the ones get it. So, all right, we are, I'm just going to glue this on. Thank you for your votes. And I'm just adding a little bit of glue here and there, just enough so it's not going to fall off. And again, if you don't like glue, you use glue dots, tape, whatever you want. Put that right there that a little little smush and I'm not gonna pop this up I'm gonna glue the greeting also hello oh I love it okay now if you don't have um, like I said I have these in color enamel dots from that just retired from last year these colors are still good but the dots themselves they retired them um, you could use opal rounds, you could use rhinestones, pearls, um, anything. Penny, oh fine, they're both pretty. <laughs> I hear you. All right, I am actually gonna use one of each of these dots. And I'm gonna put them on the same color. So like pink on pink, brown on brown. Oops. but I'm still gonna place them like where I normally would place doodads. So I'll do these two up here. Sometimes these are hard to get off too. Um, I feel like I have to get the lip of it under. Okay, and then I'll do this here and then we'll have a green one. If I could get this off. Green one here and then our misty moonlight. One, two, three. Nope, I'm gonna go with three, right there. Mmm, I like it. So it's really subtle with the, using the in color dots. Let me bring this up a little, like closer. It is subtle being the tone on tone, but when you're looking at it in real life, you can really see. And I like that it, I mean, it looks like you just took a little, um, drop of you know glass or what was that stuff we had crystal effects neat i like it so that's our first way of doing a floating paper strip card we just cut the rectangle the window sheet is cut in a rectangle all right now let's go to the next one um oh whoop, here was our sample before here i want to show you so i got more glue bits around here but I mean, it dries clear, like you really can't see it, okay? 
So don't worry about that. So that's, this was the first one I made about a month ago. And then this was today's version. And they're pretty sturdy. All right. Now next is we want to cut the acetate in a shape. So this first one I had done hearts. This was an old um, set of heart dies that I had. But this one I wanted to do a circle. So I just took my layering circles dies and cut this out. And let's see. It is just under, mm, no wait, it looks like it's two and five eighths across. So window sheet of that. And this time I wanted to use metallic strips. This one looks like it's crooked. So we've got our, um, I cut the strips. This time I did, did them all similar size. I think I did like three eighths inch. And I used the gold and rose gold metallic specialty paper. Yep, must have done three eighths. All right, so I've got rose gold, gold, Let's just flip these over. I cut a bunch. You just want enough that's going to cover your circle or your shape, whatever you shape you cut out. All right, and then these I feel like are smaller, so I don't want those. Um, but I, I'm digging the metallic papers. All right, so again, let's bring in our silicone mat. I'm going to put the acetate circle right there. Oh, and I didn't give you a hint before. This one, I'm going to go with a beachy, um, beachy theme, whatever. Okay. Um, this time, I'm going to start with my strip in the middle just to help me judge how far apart I'm going to go. And two, one, two, three, four. So mm -mm -mm, this one. So gold is going to go in the middle. All right. And I am just eyeballing. Now you can tell already these strips, um, they're all the same size. You know, they're all the three eighths inch. So they look a little thicker because they are. All right that there. Oops. And again, I'm not worrying about that. I haven't done one of these with the metallic yet. So this was, I just thought it would be cool. So my idea is, um, make this, use the strips, get this going. And then I'm going to emboss the greeting in gold. Cause I don't have rose gold. And then I cut out a seahorse and we're going to do, add some more of that gilded flaking to him. All right. This is going a lot quicker because, um, it's smaller. Actually, there's not the same number of strips. All right. Now see this little bitty part hanging? I do want to cover that because um, it would just look weird. So this time I'm just putting it right on the acetate. Okay. And we're going to let that dry. So since this is a shape, um, once I let it dry, you either take this back to your Big Shot and cut it again with the same die. I'm not going to do that because I don't want to unhook my microphone, go out in the hall. That's where my big shot lives. Um, you do that or you can flip it over and hand trim it. And that's what I'm going to do. And that's what I did with the heart one anyway. So I don't have patience for all that. All right. So let's set that off. All right. Let's work on, let's do the greeting. So I want this scrap. I'm going to do embossing buddy and we already said, um, I'm going to pick, I like you a lot. Hmm. So can anyone else tell 
I need something dark. Oh, let's use the Versamark pad. Mm, I don't know if you can tell. So it looks like my stamp has a little lip more so on the bottom that may or may not collect ink. I'm not sure. Looks like the words, like they're right at the very tippy top. I may trim that. I'm not sure. Later, not right now. I'm not going to mess that up on, on camera. All right, so ink, ink, ink with Versamark. Stamp. And then we're going to add gold embossing powder. And it's going to be interesting to see how the gold embossing powder looks together with the um, gilded leafing because they are different shades of gold which is also different from the metallic papers that I've got going so this could turn out really good or really horrible we're gonna find out all right let me emboss this Okay, let that cool. Um, okay, seahorse. So I die cut the seahorse. This is from the Seascape dies. Um, I actually cut him out of shimmery white paper and I can barely see the shimmer on it. Um, I can if I really look. Uh, but then I took a two-way glue pen and I went around like the edges and part of his head. And I did this um, yesterday morning. So that has time to dry. So this should be ready to go for our gilded leaving. I just need a scratch piece of paper. Mm -mm -mm. Actually, let's use the bingo flyer because I'm not going to need that after tomorrow. All right. So get him on here and my gilded leafing I keep in this container um, this sponge is just for the leafing all right so mm, I always hope that there's not a lot of static so all we're gonna do is grab bits and pieces of this lay it on top of the the glue bits and then we're gonna rub it in and burnish off the excess with that sponge so I'm just trying to feel around yep I got like all the spikes around his head let's get some of these and I know down here I got some on his tail Let's just put something right there. Try to, I'm just feeling for sticky spots. Okay. So now, oh, now the joy comes. This flies everywhere. So we want to push and burnish this in. I'm going to rub it with my finger first. So the gilded leafing, it needs something sticky to attach to. So that's why I glued that. Um, you could also emboss with the heat and stick powder if you wanted more coverage. All right, now we take our sponge and I'm just going to kind of gently but push and do a swirl around because I want to get all the extra bits off of the seahorse. Okay, so then we end up with that. That's good. I wanted, um, that's about what I wanted for the coverage. But even if it wasn't, like, that's what we get now, right? All right, so I'm going to try to corral all of these bits and pieces and crumbs back in here. All right, and then I'm just going to put the rest in the garbage. These bits that are stuck to the, the lid... 
they just have to stay stuck all right and then i store this oops i'm gonna get rid of that i keep the sponge with the my tub of gilded leafing all the time all right so we've got our seahorse oh that's where we have some extra of the leafing I tell you, every time I use this leafing stuff, I find it for days. All right. See, it's stuck on my, my chamois. I had it on the inside of my glasses one time. <laughs> All right. Let's check our gluey circle. All right. Very very wet i can tell around the edges but i think it's going to be good enough to work with all right i'm just going to start somewhere and i just have to tilt this in the light so i can see to trim around the edge and follow the circle pattern like i said if you were doing this later um, you could wait till this is completely dry like this isn't really dry enough um, but wait for it to completely dry and then you could run it through your same dye again and that should cut it out perfectly. So I'm just slowly going by hand. I need to ugh, see these are sticking and I'm gonna have to clean my scissors off. And we're almost finished. There we go. Okay. I feel like something moved down here a little bit. That's a little bit wonky. Oh, you know what? We're going to cover that up. Can you tell? A little wonky right there. Oh, this whole thing maybe slid over. Hmm. All right seahorse is going to go over there we're just going to cover it up let me get these pit, these bits and pieces out of there okay so we've got our circle with our gold and rose gold strips i like that um this white was oh funny <laughs> penny i'm gonna have to read that whole thing later <laughs> All right, so I've got a white card, um, card base, five and a half by eight and a half. This was, this piece of white was four by five and a quarter, and then I ran it through with the seashells folder. Um, and again, I want to start with, I want to put the foam, foam um, adhesive strips on the back here. And then I will attach it to the seashell bit. Oh, this one does not want to come off. There we go. Oops, got to do a little trim. Yikes. That flew off. Um, all right, and this half, I might get away with just three, three pieces of foam, foam adhesive. Let's chop this one off. and right here okay good 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 actually you know what now that i'm thinking of it um i'm gonna glue this guy on first since it's not a whole like quarter sheet oh look at that glue booger yuck let's get that off of there Yeah, the other one when I had the whole rectangle bit, like that was too unwieldy. So I had to put that on the white piece first and then mount it to the card front. But this case, it's just this little bitty circle. All right, so here's what I'm going for. I want this and then my seahorse. Ooh, yeah. And see, the seahorse is going to cover up that whoopsie. So. Let's just put this, I am trying to get this kind of in the center 
center-ish. Let's say that. And, ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I like it. I like it a lot. Okay. And I'm going to put some glue. So I want to attach him to the metallic bit. So I'm going to put glue like right here. Whatever I think is going to tack down. All right. And let's just hold that. So I'm going to hold that for a minute. And these bits that are like hanging off the side here, I'm not worried about that. I think it's going to work nice. Although, yep, glue is all over my finger. All right, let's hope that is holding. I feel like I might put a little glue on his tail. Boop. And he'll have to, the tail will be attached to the card front. Yeah, I can't really get any even mini glue dots behind here or mini dimensionals because it's so open, you know? So this is going to have to suffice for keeping it attached. I might could get some glue right in there. Let me try that just a little bit. Boop. All right, and then we'll hold that down. I love it. All right. Let me hold that with a clean finger and look through my um, doodads. I was thinking I would use opal rounds, like the white on white, but now I think I want gold. And I have some, I know I have some gems from a last holiday catalog. Let me just pick through here that were, hmm, they were like clear and clear and red and then they had glitter. Ugh, making a mess. I know I used them in last year's holiday card class. They were like this, only red. Um, I might have to use some of these. Nope. Nope. Mm -mm -mm. All right, gold metallic pearls it is. And now I realize I have to get some more of those things. They're actually coming back in this mini catalog too. They were clear with gold glitter and red with gold glitter. And I forget what they were called. And I honestly, I honestly thought I still had some, but that was determined to be a lie. All right, let's just hand cut this with my now gluey scissors. And I'm just trimming it pretty close. All right, I like you a lot. This one I am gonna pop up. Mm, I like that. I like that like that too. It's like where it's all together. Yeah, all right, so I'm just gonna put a I like you a lot. Just two little dimensionals on the end and then glue on this part. There is a lot of glue cleanup that needs to happen. Oof. All right. And I'm sticking that right there. Oh, and you know what I realized? My Foam adhesive strips must be taller than my, look at that. Nope, that's got to come off. Foam adhesive strips are taller than my um, mini dimensionals. So what I'm going to do is peel these off. And that's just going right there. And I'm just going to cut a chunk of this. Boop. To put on the end. And that way they're the same height. There's no leaning. All right, and then let's get this back where it was. Nice, now it's all the same height. Okay. Awesome. All right, I gotta put that there. Cover up these glue 
catastrophes. All right, let's finish off with some gold pearls. So these metallic pearls, love them. They come, uh, you get gold and silver in the same pack. And mine, I had um, combined a couple of packs. All right, so let's put some of these. Mmm, I love it. Oops, that finger has a lot of glue on it. All right, oops. Now these are tiny. Normally I would do um, three things. I think that's gonna do it. I was thinking, oh, I could do five this time, but nope, let's quit while we're ahead. Okay, so floating card strips. Let's bring both of our, let's bring our other card back in. That's it for today, girls ladies gents whoever's watching we did um, just a rectangle of window sheet on this one and strips and then on this one we cut a shape out of the window sheet we cut a circle and then like this was my sample from a month ago where i did the heart um, so i hope you enjoyed this and i would love to see your paper floating paper strips or floating cardstock strips whatever um, make something and Thanks again.